you might win in urban contemporary because that's the perception. <laughs> Bruno Mars <laughs> not getting put in the perception, <laughs> even though he's that's making that's 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 music. It's your boy. Long Beach Griffey, make sure you smash that like button and subscribe. I have to say that every single time. It's YouTube law. Ladies and gentlemen, there is a saying on the interwebs that we fall further and further and further from God's grace. And this woman, Seren, who also goes by Sensei Aieshet Atamas of something Japanese is the furthest thing from God's grace that you can go. Like, she has transcended this. If you don't know who this woman is, she has been going viral on the interwebs for calling Bruno Mars out for cultural appropriation on this YouTube series called Grapevine. Check it out, it's awful. Now, without further ado, let's get into this video right now. I hate Bruno Mars. Everybody knows that I hate Bruno Mars. Like if Bruno Mars died tomorrow, I would bake a cake. From the way that this video starts off. I hate Bruno Mars. Everybody knows that I fucking hate Bruno Mars. Like if Bruno Mars died tomorrow, I would bake a fucking cake. You can already tell. I hate Bruno Mars. Everybody knows that I hate Bruno Mars. Like if Bruno Mars died tomorrow, I would bake a cake. That her argument is completely unbiased. Like if Bruno Mars died tomorrow, I would bake a cake. Like if Bruno Mars died tomorrow, I would bake a cake. Bake a cake. Bake a cake. Bake a cake. She she's gonna raise some very very great points. Like Bruno Mars. Not only is he appropriating black culture. But he deserves to f***ing die. Like, he deserves to die and have a cake baked for his death. I hate this guy. The Damn. reason why I f***ing hate Bruno Mars is because, like, yes, Bruno Mars 100% is a cultural appropriator. He is racially ambiguous. He is not black at all. And he plays up his racial ambiguity to be able to do what Jameer says, cross genres and go into different places. He plays up his racial ambiguity. What is that? What is racial ambiguity? For those who don't know what racial ambiguity is, it's made up by pro-black, no, I'm just kidding. Racial ambiguity is when you are ethnically unidentifiable. And basically what she's saying is, Bruno Mars is using his racial ambiguity blackness to make quote unquote Black music. Jesus. God damn it, Bruno Mars. I should have seen this coming, you son of a bitch. And you guys are bringing up Michael Jackson. Number one, me personally, like, I don't even think that Michael Jackson now in this day and age will be able to get to the point that he got Facts. To previously. Facts. And a huge part of that is because oh, people sure. have realized that they prefer their black music and their black culture from a non black face. Absolutely. And you have so. I yeah! Literally everything she's saying right now is f***ing cancer. First of all, don't disrespect Michael Jackson, the king of pop. Second, preferring a non-black face over a black face to exploit black culture has always been the case. So stating that he wouldn't be as successful now doesn't even make sense. Since it's always been around! If anything, it would probably be harder for him back then, you know, with all the uh, segregation and racial tension and institutionalized racism, you know, and all that old tedious stuff that didn't really matter. And he still happened to finesse his way to the top. So, but all like we have artists now that are much more willing to step into quote unquote black genres that were not willing to do it when like they didn't want to do it. They didn't want to be in black music. Black music was seen a certain type of way. We've reached a point now where hip hop recently surpassed rock and roll. Okay, let's get into the context of this ignorance. She starts off by saying artists now and then she goes on to say they. I assume she means they as in, you know, back then. That's what it seems like to me. They didn't want to do black music, whatever that is. But isn't rock and roll originally black music? So technically they did want to do black music. 
Elvis damn sure wanted to do black music. So I'm just trying to figure out what's the point? What's the point? What is your point? Black American culture has reached a certain point in this time period that it was not at when Michael Jackson was popping. Again, we are making claims that we are not backing up. This woman is literally Twitter in a nutshell. She should be the mascot for Twitter. If Twitter had a mascot, she is what it would be. And I'm not about to sit here and listen to this millennial disrespect the early Michael Jackson era, the Jackson 5 era, like Diana Ross wasn't finessing the game in the 60s, like Marvin Gaye in The Temptations wasn't really out here making baby music and all that. Yeah, maybe I did Google famous black musicians in the 60s because I didn't really know if they was in that time period and I so what? Doesn't matter. At least I can back up my arguments. But the point is, she doesn't have a point. And like, they, people have to campaign to get Michael Jackson's videos that's played on MTV. Oh, MTV. We yeah. are not in that same time period right now. So that's even a false equivalency to even try to bring up Michael Jackson's career and it's compare that to Bruno world. Mars. Right. And I also want to say that Bruno Mars is not an original it. artist. What? Hell no! You're not finna disrespect Bruno like that! On a scale from one to stupid, she is dumb as fuck. She's so biased. It's just so like, this woman is so ignorant. You can't even say anything against her. You just have to agree with her dumb ass. Like, you just gotta sit there and But then I feel like you'll just get to a point where it's just like, after a while, you just have to talk to God about it because her skull must be made of vibranium because I don't think any nothing can get through it nothing would be able to get through to this in the same way that Michael Jackson was an original artist in the same way that Prince was an original artist right. what Bruno Mars does is he takes pre-existing work and he just completely word for word recreates it extrapolates it he does not change it he does not improve upon it she keeps making claims she's not backing up like Maybe I could agree with her. Maybe there's like a 0, 0.00 chance I could agree with her if she had things to back up her argument, but she does not have anything to back up her argument. It's like she's just saying things. Like she just wants to be heard. She like the little kid at the family reunion that make all the adults shut up just to talk, just to say something, cause she want attention. That's what she is. And it's so bad. I don't know why nobody in here is stopping her. Why isn't anyone in this room saying anything? I'd be in the back like, yo, shut your stupid ass up. He does not make it better. He's a karaoke singer. He's a wedding singer. He's the person you hire to do Michael Jackson and Prince covers. Yet Bruno Mars has an album of the year Grammy. But Bruno Mars didn't win because he had a cover album. He won Album of the Year because the album was pure heat. It was fire. It was flames. It was Jennifer Garner. Because Jennifer Garner's hot. But you would know that if you actually listened to the album and wasn't racially biased. And Prince never won an album of the wow. year. Wow. So how are you going to say? Wow. So how are you going to say people that are originators, that are originators in the funk mm. genre, that are originators in the R&B, the New Jack Swing, Bobby Brown and New Edition don't have no album of the year Grammy? Her argument is like so vague. Like you can't just say Prince or Bobby Brown or New Edition never got album of the year Grammy awards. Like, like tell me why they didn't get it. like support that claim okay like I'm not no English teacher but these are the things that I want to know like why didn't they get it who were they up against that year when did their album release maybe they lost to another black musician maybe so you can't just be out here throwing stuff out there it's just like why like you can't be mad that these artists never got album of the year Grammy Awards you can't just be out here giving Grammys because black people don't have one. <laughs> what the f I guarantee you, it's gonna get so bad. They're literally gonna be giving out Grammys just because people are black. It's gonna get that bad. And when it does, I invite all of you to come with me to England because we gotta go. <laughs> we gotta leave after that happened. We, we just gotta get up 
and we gotta flee the we gotta flee the world because it's gonna go down and when it does I don't wanna be around. Bruno Mars got that Grammy because white people love him because he's not black, period. The issue Facts. is we want our black culture from non-black bodies. Facts. And Bruno Mars Facts. is like, I'll give it to you. Facts. 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 How did we get this ignorant? How did we get this ignorant? Bruh. Bruno Mars got album of the year because the album was fire. It was heat. It was Jennifer Gardner. What is going on, man? Like, what, 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 what is it, what, why? Like, if she was to tell this to me in my face, the only thing I could agree with is that we're both alive. Like, we're both here right now in the same space. Like, I, I wouldn't be able to believe it. I wouldn't be able to believe it, but I would understand that the sun came up that day. Um, I just feel like uh, Bruno Mars is not appropriating culture or appropriating black culture. There's a difference between taking something, making it your own without giving credit to the person you stole it from, opposed to paying homage to an era of music that you grew up on. Bruno Mars even mentioned, you know, where he got the inspiration to write the album from. He said it in his Grammy acceptance speech. You know, she would have knew that if she would have did some research, but you know, hoes like to talk out the side of their ass and all that. Like this fake woke, fake conscious person is basically saying like, don't make black music if you're not black. Like, which is basically putting these musicians in a box and limiting their creativity. Like, what's wrong with recreating a sound that influenced a lot of your music? Like, to bring that kind of music back for it to be enjoyed. I honestly don't see a problem with that. Like, just because he's not black, he can't make music that a lot of black artists aren't making nowadays. Like, the only thing you hear nowadays it's stuff like, then I go down to the mall, yeah. Zoomies, they got a sweater, yeah. And it's 50% off, yeah. Hey, that was pretty cool. That could actually be a dope song. I feel like musicians, artists, should be able to make whatever the hell they want to make. Like, people should be able to do whatever they want to do. If you want to, if you're white and you want to rap, go rap. If you're Mexican, you want to do R&B, go do R&B. If you're black and you want to do corridos, go do it. It don't matter. Do what you want to do. Period. Uh, there's not really much left to say here, dude, but Trump's America, man. That's all I can say. Um, check out Grapevine. They have a lot of interesting topics and a lot of interesting views. Um, I know I said it was awful before, but it, it's not awful. I was just kidding. I was kidding. Um, I watched a couple of videos. It's actually very insightful. Like, there's, um, a lot of them share a lot of, uh, very, very interesting views. If you stay through the whole video, thank you so much for wasting your time on me. Like, I appreciate you so much. Like... Is this really what I'm going to be doing for the rest of my life? Is it too late to go back? Is it honestly too late to go back to Target? Can I go back to Target? Because I don't want to do this for the rest of my life. Like, come on. Talking to a damn camera for... Golly. I could have done so much more. I could have done so much more.